When you've been playing Splatfest and Splatoon 3, leveling up your catalog and getting these conch shells and you just don't know what they do, well in today's video I'm going to go over what the conch shells do as well as what the super sea snails can do for you after you end Splatfest this weekend. What's up YouTube, Let's Play Gray here and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and like I said, we're going to get into what the conch shells are exactly. So basically during Splatfest, the whole week leading up to Splatfest and the weekend, Every time you level up your catalog from playing Turf War or from playing even Salmon Run, you'll be rewarded with a conch shell. Now in the beginning, the preliminaries, it counts towards your team's score. It's gonna count for 10% of the overall score. So it's, it's pretty important to collect those conch shells to help support your team. And you can even do that by playing Salmon Run. Now, aside from score, literally the only purpose these conch shells serve is to let you play the gotcha machine extra times. So you get one every time you level your catalog up, even when you max out your catalog to level 100, it'll reset and go back to level 1, so you can keep getting more con shells for your team and for yourself. So instead of spending a bunch of cash to try to get chunks, which is what you ultimately want out of this machine, or drink tickets are also nice, you can just use these con shells as you keep obtaining them. And make sure you use all of them before Splatfest is over, because they will go away. And they will not restock. I got a gold one. What's the gold one? I've got a banner. See, that's awesome. So they will not come back during next Splatfest. So make sure you use all of your con shells. Now, the next thing I want to go over is something that you can see in the top right hand corner of my screen. That is the Super C Snails. You'll get Super C Snails based off your team score at the end of Splatfest. So once this weekend's over, you'll get your Super C Snails. Last Splatfest, I believe I got 16. This Splatfest, I don't know yet. We're going to find out. Basically, the Super Sea Snails can do two things for you when you go to merch. The first thing being that you can boost the star power of one of your peaches of merchandise, which I don't recommend. You can boost it up and, you know, you can go to an item that's say like this headband, it only has one ability slot. You can add ability slots, but that's going to come with time and money if you want. I would not recommend using the Super Sea Snails on this option. I would choose the second option. Now, the second thing you'll be able to do with the Super Sea Snails is reroll the slots of a piece of gear. Basically, what I'm saying is you can go to this, my Squid Life headphones and the three sub slots. If I were to choose that, I can reroll all three of those slots to get three random new ones for the cost of one Super C Snail. You'll also keep those ability slots as chunks, which is very useful. So it's a good way to reroll, but also get some chunks, which is nice. And this is the only thing I'd recommend using your Super C Snails on. Do not waste it on boosting the star power. I don't think that's that important, especially once you start getting higher levels and playing the game more and more. So I hope this video helped you because there's going to be a Splatfest every month. So hopefully new players can figure out what to do with their conch shells and Super C Snails and don't let them go to waste. Again, I'm Let's Play Gray. Make sure you subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what team you chose for the Pokemon Splatfest, Grass, Water, or Fire and leave a comment. Let me know if this helped you out. Don't forget to subscribe and turn the bell notifications on because then you won't miss any of our live streams when we play games live and you can hop in a game too if you'd like. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.